Good morning, folks. Last night's biannual Looney Tunes house cleaning went well, but before we get into today's checks and top stories, we're going to very quickly revisit last night's video topic with some extra evidence this morning. So we discussed Azure Arctic Glow and the one that went wrong, the Norway Spiral. Now many people were having trouble imagining how a rocket could make such a sight. Well, let's come to Red's view of the Atlas V launch. He never took his camera off the rocket and saw the whole thing, and the incredible images begin the moment the rocket hits the sunlight. Dark trails become illuminated as the six rocket system is easily seen here. Now this part is simply meant to show you how wild things can appear way up in the sky. Now in the Norway spiral, we had the central void at main engine cutoff, so let's see that on Atlas V. And then, look at how the spin is set by the second stage, creating a bit of a spiral as well. There are actually dozens of spiral shots of rockets that exist. It's just that most of the people taking them have set up to shoot the rocket launches so they don't have any confusion about what is the cause. And all it takes is being slightly out of control, spinning too fast, and you get this. You know, it's fun to explore the thousands of conspiracies and lies and threats you find online. But in the same world where 999 of the 1,000 chemtrail theories must be false by definition, Let's remember that the most sensational things that come through are almost always nothing. It's just not that easy. Anyway, moving on to spaceweathernews.com, we find a calm last 24 hours on our star. We have had no solar flares, no ejections of the filaments, and the most active region is beginning to turn away out of view. The filaments stretching back towards the eastern limb appear equally as calm as the ones out ahead. We'll continue to monitor for eruptions as always. And we expect an intensification of the solar wind tomorrow due to the streaming flow out of that southern coronal hole. The northern system will be up next and is already visible coming in top left. With the solar wind low and our awaiting intensification, the KP is dropping and if this continues, we'll be firing health alerts out for cosmic rays later today via the app. Top story today comes out of Harvard and Oxford. Turns out that volcano emissions are likely a large part of the glacial cycles on Earth. Now while the topic of us being way overdue for our next glacial cycle is always fun, perhaps let's see if you can spot the Easter egg in this minor chart they put in the introduction. That's a much more fun discussion, and it shows exactly what you think it shows, observers. Temperature shifts, then a consequent CO2 change occurs on Earth. When temperature releases enough CO2 from the ground and the oceans into the atmosphere, it triggers an ice age. Today is the one-year anniversary of the 6.6 .6 that struck Italy and marked the most significant earthquake forecast we had ever made. That's the map from the day before. Learn more at quakewatch.net. The app is available for Android and Apple. The Cosmic Ray Alert is all I'd expect today unless there is a quake notification to come through. We've got the wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.